The next hadith in the chapter of Salah, and we're actually still in the part of the Adhan. Yesterday we talked about Abi Mahdura. Abu Mahdura, he is the one who was playing with some children, and he was a young boy and he was mocking and making fun of the Adhan. And um, Prophet ﷺ heard him and he noticed that he has a nice voice and he asked him to be the Mu'addin for Mecca. And Bilal became, uh, Bilal was the Mu'addin for Medina. He was a Muslim but he was a young boy at the time. وعن أنس وعن أنس رضي الله تعالى عنه قال أمر بلال أن يشفع الأذان ويوتر الإقامة إلا الإقامة يعني إلا قوله قد قامت الصلاة متفق عليه لم يذكر مسلم الاستثناء للنساء أمر النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بلالا أن يشفع الأذان ويوتر الإقامة يعني this hadith means that the adhan everything is said twice Except, but the iqamah, everything is said once. Except the word qamah is salah. That is said twice. Why is that? Because the adhan, you're supposed to call the people who are outside the masjid. People who are in their market or something. So it is supposed to be long. And it is supposed to be loud. And the longer it is, the more chance that people will hear you. But the iqamah is for the people who have already arrived and it's time for the salah. If you're still in the market, you won't catch the salah. Right? <laughs> you, go, you can't. I don't think you can. Uh, so, uh, so the purpose of the iqamah is just to tell the people now it's salah time. So that, that is why the qadqamah is salah. Qadqamah is salah is said twice. Otherwise, everything else is said once. But of course, at the very beginning of the iqamah, you say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. You don't say Allahu Akbar once. You say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله، أشهد أن محمد رسول الله. هيا صلاة هيا على فلاح قد قام الصلاة قد قام الصلاة. الله أكبر الله أكبر. Again twice. Because Allah أكبر الله أكبر is considered as one. This prayer is considered as one. فأنا بيجو حيث ترجو الله تعالى عنه قال رأيت بلالا يؤذن وأتتبع فاه ها هنا وها هنا وإصبعه في أذنيه رواه أحمد والترمذي وصححه. ولبني ماجة وجعل إصبعه في أذنيه. ولأبي داود لوى عنقه لما بلغ حي على الصلاة يمينا وشمالا ولم يستدر أصله في الصحيحين. This is just shows you what Bilal used to do when he made the adhan. He put his finger in his ears like this, and he would uh, when he says حي على الصلاة he would turn towards the right side. When he says حي على الفلاح he would turn towards the left side. Why does he put his fingers in his ears? This allows him to say it louder. You can make it louder when you do that. Not only that. When he's standing on top of a big, on a high place and he's going like this, people who cannot hear him, when they see his fingers in his ears like this, they know he's making adhan. If you're very far away, his voice will not reach you, but you can see him. And when you see him going like this, like this, then you know he's making adhan, right? So even people who are far away can recognize that he's making the adhan. He goes hayya ala salah towards the right side, left side for the same purpose, so that he lets the most, the biggest number of people to listen and hear him. So he goes like this to get the right side of this city and left side of this city. But he still faces the qibla. Well, let me just tell you. This shows you that the mu'azzin, it is, it is encouraged for the mu'azzin to face the qibla. And even when he goes, hayya asat hair falah, he doesn't go with his whole body. He just goes with the upper body and with his, with his head. Right? Um, and that is to la- allow people to hear. Okay. Now let's do adhan in the microphone. We do adhan in the microphone. You know if you go like this, right and left, you will miss, you'll miss the microphone. <laughs> There's no need. There's no need to do this. There's no need to do this. He, he, it is supposed to, uh, it is a way they used 
to allow more people to hear, hear you. Now you can do it with a microphone. Okay? <laughs> yeah. If you want to do it, if you want to turn, fine. Let's just hold the microphone while you're doing it. <laughs> because I see some people doing it, I see some people doing it, and they miss the microphone when they go like this. So you actually miss because it, the voice goes down. If you want to do it, uh, just in case, it is not just for to uh, because we think it is to allow more people to hear, right? That's what we think. That is probably 90%. But maybe 10%, he was told to do it this way, right? So if you think it might be a sunnah, then hold the microphone and turn. No. <laughs> وعن أبي بحضورة رضي الله تعالى عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أعجبه صوته فعلمه الأذان رواه ابن خزيمة This is what we talked about yesterday أبو محضورة says Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم liked my voice so he taught me taught me the أذان The last hadith عن جابر بن السامرة رضي الله تعالى عنه قال صليت مع النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم العيدين من غير مرة ولا مرتين بغير أذان ولا إقام رواه مسلم ونحوه في المتفق عليه عن ابن عباس وغيره This shows you that for صلاة العيد you don't make أذان you don't make إقامة you don't say anything. You don't even say as-salatu jami'ah. Before the adhan, they used to say as-salatu jami'ah. Before they learned the adhan. But uh, for the Eid, you don't. But why is that? Why don't you say the adhan for the Eid? Hmm? Exactly. People know. Don't you know when the Eid is? People know when the Eid is. And you're supposed to come early anyhow to make takbir after Fajr prayer, and you know, after shuruq. So nobody is supposed to miss the eight salah. It's, uh, it's supposed to be well known. You don't have to tell the people, oh, now it's eight salah. So people should know that. And, and there's no adhan, there's no iqamah. Prophet used to come and start the salah right, right away. Any question about this? Like uh, for, 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 for some of the kids, there's, I see some malahi, like shafi, mm-hmm. they came and they encouraged me to say the salah of the no. Salat al Jami'ah is what they used to say uh, before the Adhan was taught. Before they, before they learned the Adhan, they used to say, Salat al Jami'ah, people would hear. Uh, so maybe they made priyas on that. But there's nothing, no hadith to indicate that this used to be done. Ibn al Qayyim says that he looked and he, he did not find that anything was said before Salat al People used to just wait it. The Prophet ﷺ comes and then he would do the Salah immediately. Yeah, even the takbir, I mean, the takbir is sold out, people knew that it was sold out just because of the takbir, yeah. right? You, then when you hear it, sometimes an hour comes if you're, if you're home and if you're sleeping, you hear the takbir, you wake up, oh, let me get yeah. it, it's all right. It's not an idea. <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh-huh. There's another question, how he said, the takbir from Muslim. Mm. Yeah, all the hadith things only use with the takbir of Allah, but like, they use the other takbir, some brothers using Hanwarad, yani, Allah, 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 Allah,